I couldn't help but wonder what are the top 10 favorite mounts in Final Fantasy XIV. I decided to venture out and inquire the Final Fantasy XIV community about their personal favorites. After receiving an overwhelming response in my Google form, I have compiled an ultimate top 10 list and I've got a little surprise for you guys at the end as well. Let's get right into it. Number 10, the Demi Phoenix. I don't know how I feel about this one. To get the Demi Phoenix, you must complete Asphodelos the 4th Circle Savage. It's a 100% drop rate, which is really cool, so get a group of friends together, challenge people S, have fun, and get a great reward. I can't believe people voted for this one. Number 9. One of the newest mounts in Final Fantasy XIV at the moment, the Spectral... Spectral... Statis. 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 Spectral Status. This mount is obtainable after getting all paths in the newest variant dungeon, Alo Alo Island. Alu? Once you have achieved all the paths, you'll get the achievement, Goodwill Hunting, and then you can claim it from your achievements tab. It's a really beautiful mount. I love how it looks and the animations are gorgeous. Number eight, the most popular three-headed dog, Cerberus. Severus is obtainable after clearing the Delibrum Regine Savage. It's a 24 to 48 player duty unlocked after clearing the normal version of DR within Bosnia. And bonus, it's a four seed amount. You might also recognize Severus from the World of Darkness. Number seven. This is one of the coolest collabs to come to Final Fantasy XIV. Rathalos from Monster Hunter. To get Rathalos, you must first unlock the Great Hunt Extreme, which is unlockable post Stormblood. There's a rare chance that the mount will drop from the chest of Rathalos, but your best bet is to actually cut off the tail during the instance and start farming the Rathalos Scale Plus. Once you have 50 of those, you can trade it in and Rathalos is all yours. Number six, which is one of Omega's creations, Model O. Personally, I love the Model O mount. It's quite easily obtainable now. All you gotta do is run Alpha Scape V 4.0 Savage, run it unsynced with a group of friends and it's 100% drop rate. There might be a few little mechanics you might have to do, but it should be really easy to get these days. So put up a party finder, have some fun, and go get your Model O mounts. We're halfway there. Number five. It's the fiery Kamui of the Ninetales. The legendary Kamui can be obtained once you have collected all of the Kamuis from the Stormblood Extreme Trials. They're all pretty easy to obtain these days. Just run the Extreme Trials on sync with a few friends, smash those bosses, and start collecting your Kamuis because it's so worth getting the Kamui of the Nine Tails. It's a gorgeous mount. And once you have all the Kamuis, just go get the quest, a lone wolf no more. And now number four, the brightest and goofiest mount in Final Fantasy XIV, the Saber Temba Emperador. This giant flying Saber Tender can be purchased from the Gold Saucer for 2 million MGP. It's a lot, but it's so worth it. I recommend to start farming, doing your fashion report, doing your wondrous tales every week, and getting the MGP tokens, and just spending a lot of time in the Gold Saucer, and eventually the Saber Tender will be yours. We're up to the top three mounts. Number three goes to, I'm gonna have to try and say this the best I can, Megalobistoma. Megalobistoma. Look, I tried. This squishy friend is obtainable after clearing P12S Anabasios, the 12th Circle Savage. Apparently, its presence in Pandemonium means it was flawed in some way and deemed a failure. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. Runners up. Number two, a Sunforged. Sunforged is such a stunning mount with beautiful animation from the flying snake to the immortal bird when starting to fly. To get the Sunforged mount, you must complete Abyssos, the eighth circle savage. Once again, it's a 100% drop rate. Just grab some friends, challenge p It's a little bit easier now, but it's still a challenge. And go get your mount because it's so worth it. And hopefully you don't get too many snake memes. Drum roll, please. We're up to our number one mount voted by the community. It is the Demi Ozma mount. So you must clear the Beldessian arsenal to get the Demi Ozma mount. VA is a difficult large scale dungeon that is unlocked once you have completed the Eureka storyline. Eureka is the exploration zone for Stormblood. So once you have finished Stormblood, you can then unlock Eureka and start the grind. So once you have completed VA, you then will get an achievement and it's called We're On Your Side 1. Once you have this achievement, Demi Ozma is all yours. 
Let's not forget our special winner, our grand company Chocobo. Our first ever bound and our trusty companion has been at our side for so long now. It's also so much fun getting new glamour for our companions as well and changing them up. We can also feed them different fruits, change their coat colours. So just the customizable options for your grand company Chocobo is always so much fun to play with as well. But our companions will always have our heart and always be one of our top favourite mounts. Big shout out to the people that helped me record mounts that I hadn't obtained yet. So thank you so much for that. And hopefully this video has inspired you to go get some of these mounts. So thanks guys. I'll see you next time.